Hello and welcome to Tom's Kitchen. Tonight we're making homemade pizza. I was on the phone earlier this evening with my mom back in Cleveland, Ohio, and I told her I was going to barbecue pizza tonight, and she had never heard of such a thing. So I promised her I'd make her a little video and show her just how it's done. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I used to think making pizza at home was uh, pretty tough, and I used to always go out and buy the bobbly pizza bread shell or whatever they call it. And then I was shopping in Trader Joe's one day and I came across their pizza dough. They have a variety of pizza dough. It comes in a nice bag and uh, you open it up. They have different types. They have wheat and they have plain pizza dough and they have different flavors. What you want to do is you want to make sure that when you bring this pizza dough home that you let it sit at room temperature for at least 30 minutes before you're going to start. Now you're not going to see me tossing this up like you see people in pizza restaurants. I haven't gotten that good at it yet. But what you want to do is take a nice uh, flat surface such as this cutting board and you just want to put the, the flour down. Don't be, uh, you know, don't be afraid to use a lot of flour. And you just want to get this like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll it just going to roll it, use your hands at first and just kind of stretch it out a little bit. Maybe even put a little bit more flour on here. And then I'll bring out my little rolling pan. When my girlfriend's not chasing me around the house with this thing, I'm able to, you know, use it for making pizza. But you're just going to roll this out. So I'm going to, uh, this takes a couple minutes. I'm going to pause here and we'll be back and uh, we'll start adding the ingredients, okay? So see you in a moment. Okay, so the dough is spread out nicely, and this is a special pan that I picked up. I think I got it at Macy's. It's a pizza pan for the barbecue. It's got your nice holes on it. I'm going to take my dough here. I'm going to throw it on this pan. I put a little bit of cooking spray on the pan. I got this all spread out there. Now. You can use different types of pizza sauces in the supermarket near the Boboli bread. I like to find the little Boboli pizza sauce. So I'm going to take the pizza sauce here and we're going to spread this on. I'm just going to spread it around and get a nice, just get a nice layer going. Spread it evenly. One of those bags is usually good for a, a large pizza such as this. So I'll get that all spread around there, just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now you'll see that the dough is kind of receding a little bit. Now this is, hmm, uh, uh, mm. that's good. All right, so you'll see the dough, it's kind of receding a little bit from the edge. Now. We're going to take my favorite cheese. I'm using the mozzarella cheese, and you know, I like a lot of cheese on my pizzas, you know, so we're going to put just a lot of cheese on here, just like this. Oh, that looks good. Make sure you get it all around. Like that. Uh huh. Okay. All the way out to the edges. Now you can put out, you can put anything you like on pizza. Sometimes I'll make like a Hawaiian pizza with ham and pineapple and mushrooms. But tonight we're going to do a little bit of a, a semi-vegetarian pizza. And I'll show you the ingredients that we have. Okay, so that looks like enough cheese right there. So tonight on the pizza we have green peppers, some mushrooms. I'm going to put some red onions. This is turkey pepperoni that I found. I'm a little bit of a health nut, so I'm not going to use regular pepperoni. And then we have some black olives, and this is some fresh spinach that I wilted. I just steamed it for about three minutes, and then I chopped it up. So we're going to put that on. So I'll get these ingredients all on, and then we'll take you out to the barbecue, all right? Be back in one minute. All right, so it's pizza time. And the pizza is all loaded with our ingredients. It looks fantastic. 
The only thing left now is to put it on the barbecue. And uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get this puppy uh, cooking so we can have a nice dinner tonight. All right, let's go on outside. Okay, so the barbecue has been preheating while I've been making the pizza. It's well over 450. I figure when I go ahead and open this up, it'll let a little bit of the temperature out. I have three burners in the barbecue. I'm going to put this on and I'm going to let it sit right over the heat for the first two to three minutes and then I'll turn the center burner off and this is just like baking it in an oven. It'll give us a nice nice crisp crust. So let's go ahead and throw this baby in here and we'll close the lid and we'll be back in about 10 minutes and uh, it'll be pizza time. All right? Okay, so the pizza's been in here just over 10 minutes. Let's take a look. Oh, it looks fantastic. Now, Mom, that is barbecued pizza. So we're going to take this off the grill, get it inside, slice it up, and have our dinner. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you uh, are able to make this in your uh, barbecue one day.